Welcome to the Passionate Programmer YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about generics. Generic means the general form, not specific. In C Sharp, generic means not specific to a particular data type. C Sharp allows you to define generic classes, interfaces, abstract classes, fields, methods, static methods, properties, events, delegates, and operators using the type parameter and without the specific data type. A type parameter is a placeholder for a particular type specified when creating an instance of the generic type. A generic type is declared by specifying a type parameter in angle brackets after a type name, for example type name T where T is a type parameter. This video contains code snippets, and based on those code snippets you may have to answer the questions. Feel free to pause the video to understand the code snippet properly, and then try to give the answer. Most of these questions are mind-bending, so if you do not get them right in the first place don't worry. Which of the following can be defined as generic? Class, Structure, Delegate, Enum Enum cannot be generic. However, you can declare generic classes, interfaces, delegates, and structures. When the type parameter T will be replaced with the actual type in the following program. Runtime, compile time, debugging time, or never. Generics type parameters are replaced with the actual type at compile time. What will be the output of the following program? Compile time error, runtime error, or string double. Here, data processor class and process method both are generic denoted by T symbol. Although a different symbol for the different generic members of the same class is recommended, the same symbol is allowed. So, data processor VP sets the type for the class, and the type for the process method is decided based on the type of the value passed during the call if not specified explicitly using angle brackets. What will be the output of the following program? Compile time error, runtime error, int 32 or string. Here, the class level generic symbol is applied for the method parameter. So, the value must be of integer type, because an object is declared with int type, data processor int vp. Otherwise, C sharp comp would give an error, because it replaces the type in generic at compile time. What will be the output of the following program? Compile time error, runtime error, in 32 string or string in 32.
It will display the type of the parameter value, and the value must be of the type specified at the time of instantiating objects P1 and P2. What will be the output of the following program? Compile time error, runtime error, int 32 string or string int 32. Here, we specified the type explicitly when defining the derived class data processor u, processor int, so a variable of the processor type cannot have another type than int. What will be the output of following program? Compile time error, runtime error, int 32 or string. It is perfectly correct to specify any type for the variable of the data processor type. However, the process method cannot accept value other than integer, because class data processor derives generic class processor, and the type is specified as int. What will be the output of the following program? 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, compile time error or runtime error. There, numbers is a generic list of string type, so adding an integer to it will give a compile time error. What will be the output of the following program? Compile time error or runtime error, 11 or 10. Here, base value is a generic type, so the plus operation cannot be applied to increment the value, 
because no special operation is invoked on generic types. It will give an error operator plus cannot be applied to operands of the T and int. We cannot use methods or operators specific to a particular data type, only common methods, which are available to all the objects in C-sharp can be invoked, such as getType, toasting, etc. What will be the output of the following program? Compile time error or runtime error, 100 or 0. Here, a generic constraint is applied to the generic class processor T. A constraint where T class specifies that the type must be of reference type. Since int is not a reference type, it will give a compile time error. If you specify string as a type parameter, then it will work because the string is a reference type. Similarly, you can specify any build-in or custom class as a type parameter to the processor class. Which of the following statement is true? Generics provide type safety without having multiple implementations. Use generics to improve performance. Boxing unboxing does not happen for generic types. C-sharp does not support generic methods. Consider the following example, based on the code snippet which options are correct. var p equals new processor string is valid. var p equals new processor int is valid. var p equals new processor array is valid. The processor class requires that its type arguments must implement the i enumerable interface. Options highlighted in green are correct. These are some books that cover generics in detail. If you liked the information showed in the video then like this video, also consider subscribing to this channel, so that you get a notification when we upload videos in the future. You can share this video with your programmer friends. Also, let us know how many of these questions you could answer correctly in the comments. See you soon with the next set of interesting questions. You can let us know on which topic we must create next video by providing your suggestion in the comments.